morning everybody i'm fully rested fully aware and uh wide awake i i just looked at this footage i just finished editing it and i did not realize how groggy and tired i sounded i didn't think i was that tired but i was i wasn't gonna upload it almost wasn't gonna upload it but i'm uploading because it's kind of funny to me because it seems like i was talking in slow motion and i almost wanted to speed it up but I'm gonna upload this. This is from last night. Tomorrow is Winter Jam. And I'm on a rush to get home so I can go ahead and load my car up and get everything ready so we can get over to the track. But uh, enjoy this little quick, little short vlog. I'm kind of getting in the mood and in the flow of giving you guys real short ones really quick. But for events, I'm gonna do my regular big vlogs. So enjoy this, check it out, give me a like, comment, let me know what you want to see at Winter Jam, and uh, check this vlog out from last night. Yeah, hey, what's going on? What y'all into? Let's talk a little bit. Messing around on social media, asking if anybody needed a shelf. And yeah, I call it a shelf because it's basically just been a shelf for probably the last year or so. I don't drive the car much. This car's purpose, well, it simply serves as a practice car. Back when I wasn't driving this car much, this car was always getting driven. I would beat the crap out of it, basically fill it with water and oil, make sure those fluids are fine, put some fuel in it and go whoop it. This is technically what people like to call missile cars, but it's not really a missile because it's all in one piece and looks pretty damn good. It's actually a full functioning car that should be deemed your practice car or your peasant car. This car was built to be identical to this car here. It does have the very same aero package, fairly stock aside from the front mount intercooler and full exhaust. The car is to mimic this car so that I can get this driving experience when I don't have this car. But since I've had this car available to me for quite a few years now, running without failure, I haven't used this. I do joke a lot and say that the car is for sale. Y'all are really gonna have to start calling my bluff on that. Everything has a price and everything is always available. Cause I don't drive it. It just sits right here and gathers old vinyl from other projects and stuff that I need to do for oil changes on this car. Let me give y'all a few key features of having a practice car. Obviously, it doesn't need to be just as powerful as a car that you wanna drive all the time. Just has to be a similar chassis and setup, right? So this has the PBM angle kit, quite a lot more angle than this one has. This one just has chopped hotline knuckles. Um, so it does have more angle, it's just not stock. This car runs the same tires with size and rims as this car does. The only difference is in the front. This car, I want it to have more grip, more bite, more turn in, more of everything than this car does. I want to have to fight more with this car and when I throw it in really deep, it doesn't fully over rotate on me because the rear has more traction than the front does. Now, the front is only a 225. 225 on the front is typically a big size because most dudes run 225s on the rear of their cars. But notice this car is set up with 235s. These are 235R compounds on the front. So it's not too far off, but that is just a 225. So, it's got a little cage in it, doesn't have double door bars, it's a single door bar, but it does make this open top chassis more rigid, good clutch, and that's really all that this thing needs. For a practice car, this one is actually a very good setup, very good situation. Now, although I don't drive it, um, I do let friends drive it quite often actually. I'm going to be bringing it out for Winter Jam because I have offered a couple of people go in it. Um, we'll see if they take me up on that offer or if I take them up on the offer. Some people have asked to rent it. 
no, it's not for rent because I don't want you thinking that you could just go and beat the hell out of my car that I really do like. I'll let you go take it for a spin and see how you enjoy it, but I still want you to be cautious as to the fact that you're not gonna destroy somebody else's car. I feel when people rent stuff, they take more of a claim to it, so they feel like they can do whatever they want with it. That's not how I want this car treated. Although, some people in the past that I've let drive this car really drive it with no regard, simply because they do think that I don't care about it. This car will be out at Winter Jam, so if you do see these two cars together, you know I'm here. Say hi. Uh, you'll see the rest of the crew and myself hanging out. We'll try to have a pretty good setup. And I'm just gonna really cut this short because I just wanted to give you a little bit of information on this because people have been asking. Ow, that hurt me, not the car. People have been asking a little bit about the car since I joke about it a lot. But yes, it is always available if you wanna buy it. If you do buy it, guess what I'll do? Just build the RX-8 out front because I haven't even driven that for three months. So I have a couple of things, a couple of ideas, a couple of plans that I wanna do, but uh, this car just sits like this all the time. I get all of my practice and driving in on this vehicle because it's so good. See, that's the problem. When cars are so good, you don't wanna drive anything else. If I wanna try a different technique, I'm not gonna try it in this. Might as well just rock it in this, right? Only difference is, is when I'm practicing, I'll have a higher tire inflation in the rear than I do normally if it was to be a competitive situation or Super D or whatnot. If you feel like you wanna take it off my hands, slide in my DM. <laughs> it may be yours. It's just a simple turbo swap into a convertible. We all know convertibles never came turbo here in the US. I just wanted to keep it really sleek. Just added that boost gauge right there and that is it. Most of the time this car was blowing more smoke off the rears than this car was. This car seems to find traction so much faster and get up and go. Whereas this car blowing these two four fives off the rear making clouds and plumes of smoke off this car. That's probably why everybody always thought that it had some power to it, but nope. Tiny little dusty old stock IHI and just a front mount. Bone stock car, complete bone stock car. <sighs> My love. So come check them out. See either of the two cars, come say hi, say what's up. We'll probably be using this for like a pit vehicle running around the paddock all weekend. That and the pit bikes. Winter Jam, two days away. Actually one day now by the time I put this up. One day away, Winter Jam 2017. Tons of drivers, tons of drivers. I mean like close to 300 drivers. Six tracks, one facility, one weekend full of unparalleled drift experience you know where to find us and if you ain't in the area come back and check the vlog i'll be doing quite a lot of vlogging that weekend all right and i'll holler at y'all later man peace what? <laughs> Let's go!